NITSCOUT recently launched the new AirCheck G2 wireless tester, the most powerful handheld tool available for testing state-of-the-art 802.11ac Wi-Fi networks. Now we are excited to announce the first software update for the AirCheck G2. Version 1.1 adds many new features and functions that were requested by the first wave of users of this tool. Let's take a look at some of these. The AirCheck G2's auto test provides a quick and easy to use test for co-channel interference and adjacent channel interference. Now you can drill down on the results of that test to view the actual APs that were counted on each channel. After running an auto test, simply expand the results of the co-channel interference or adjacent channel interference measurements and select any channel to see a list of the access points that were counted as co-channel interference or adjacent channel interference on that particular channel. You can also expand each individual AP to view various details about that access point. You can emulate the received signal levels of other devices with custom signal level adjustments. From the home screen, select Settings, 802.11 Settings, and then the new Custom Signal Adjustments. Turn it on, and then you can uh, adjust the signals that are received and displayed on a channel by channel basis. For example, you can select all 2.4 GHz channels to be offset by a certain negative or positive number of dB. You can do the same thing for all 5 GB channels. You can also go to individual channels and offset the signal levels that will be displayed on a per channel basis. Be sure to hit apply. Now when you go to a signal level that's displayed for an access point, for example, the signal level that's displayed will be offset by the amount that you set and there will be an indicator, this little asterisk here, that indicates that this signal level has been adjusted. Signal level adjustments are not applied to noise levels or SNRs. Selective channel scanning allows you to focus your testing on specific channels by specifying for the AirCheck G2 to scan only certain channels anywhere from one to all of them. From the home screen, select Settings, 802.11 Settings, and then Channels and Bands. Here, in addition to being able to turn the entire 2.4 GHz band and 5 GHz band on and off, I can select individual channels to scan. For example, I can turn off all the 2.4 GHz channels and then select channels 1, 6, and 11 to scan. I can also select to turn off the entire 5 GHz band, for example. Now when I hit apply, you can see up here in the channel scan icon that only channels 1, 6, and 11 that I selected are being scanned. A new Include versus Exclude option has been added for SSID filtering. From the home screen, select Settings, 802.11 Settings, and SSID filtering. Here we've added the Exclude Listed SSIDs and Show Listed SSIDs radio buttons. So as before, you could add SSIDs here, and then select the Show Listed SSIDs, and turn SSID filtering on. Now when I go to my networks, I'll only see those SSIDs that I've specified as filtering. But now I can go back to the SSID filtering page and stuff to exclude those SSIDs. This is very useful if I want to enter the SSIDs that I own and know about, but I want to filter the environment to find SSIDs that I don't know and don't own. Retry rate is a critical key performance indicator for Wi-Fi. Previously, this was part of the AirCheck G2 auto test. We have now added it to the Connect to Network and Connect to Access Point tests. For example, you can select a network and select to connect to a network. And the results at the bottom will include a retry rate. It's a common practice to disable some of the lower legacy rates in Wi-Fi networks in order to improve performance overall. The AirCheck G2 now displays the supported rates of each access point. 
select the axis point that you're interested in and you will see this new field down here that lists the basic and extended legacy rates that are supported by that axis point. So you can quickly see if lower rates such as 1 and 5.5 megabits per second are turned on or not. As before, you can still see the maximum 11N and 11AC rate supported under the 11N and 11AC capabilities. Aruba access point names that are advertised in the beacons are now captured and displayed in the AirCheck G2 user interface for easy identification of these APs. The AirCheck G2 now supports the use of USB headsets. This is for use in the locate access point or locate client function when you're using the audio Geiger counter. Now with the use of a USB headset, the audio function that's provided here is available only to the user. Session files and screen capture files captured on the AirCheck G2 can now be saved directly to a USB drive inserted into one of the USB ports on the AirCheck G2. From the home screen, select Settings, Manage Files, connect a USB thumb drive to either of the USB ports, and simply select Save to USB. The session files that are displayed will then be saved to the USB drive for later importing into AirCheck G2 Manager, but they will not be deleted on the unit. You can do the same thing with screenshot files. A web proxy has been added to facilitate Link Live uploads of test results. From the home screen, select Settings, Device Settings, Link Live Settings, Turn on the web proxy and enter an IP address and port number and a username and password if needed, then select Apply. A fast link has been added to the profile name in the display status bar so that you can go right to the profile settings by touching. The current profile is always displayed in the upper left corner. If there have been changes made to the profile that are not yet saved, an asterisk indicator will appear. So to quickly save these changes, I simply touch that profile name. I go right to the profile settings. Now I can select Save, and those changes are now saved, and the asterisk indicator has been removed. These updates for the AirCheck G2 will help technicians to more quickly and efficiently test, validate, and troubleshoot today's Wi-Fi networks, including 802.11ac networks. Thank you for previewing these new features with us, and happy testing.